Well, Cassandra Jelzinski from the Lincoln County Humane Society joins us this morning with this week's feature adoptable pet, and that's Bane. Oh, he's beautiful. Hi there. <laughs> that's okay. So this is Bane. He's huge. <laughs> Bane. He is a two-year-old male shepherd mix, and he is awesome. He's such a sweet boy. Very strong. <laughs> and he's two years old. Uh, has he been returned then? Yeah, so he was a surrender. Um, so for him, we're looking for a home with no children under the age of 14, a fully fenced yard, no dogs in the home, and no cats. Just because he is a little bit reactive towards other animals. But with some basic obedience training, he should make a great Okay, because it, t it takes the time, right? Like you have, as a, as a responsible pet owner, you have to do the training, you have to put in the work as well. You just can't expect a dog to show up and, and be fully trained. Absolutely, it takes a lot of work to rescue a new pet, but with the right amount of work and training, it's definitely worth it. Right, I wanted to ask you, with so many people adopting animals uh, during the pandemic, are you now starting to see surrenders and returns from people who are starting to go back to work and realizing, I, I don't have the time and attention for a dog? Not a crazy amount just yet, but with the pandemic coming to an end, I definitely foresee it increasing, which is definitely a sad truth. Um, but I do hope that when people are turning back to work, they do recognize that separation anxiety is a real thing in animals and that they will set their animals up for success um, when returning to work by kind of easing the animal into it and building some independence with that animal. I definitely think that will help uh, limit the amount of returns that we see. Right, because animals, especially dogs, they don't know when you leave the door that you are coming back, right? They think that you're not, so it's, it's, it's tough on them. Absolutely, they need to build independence and learn, like you said, that when you leave, that you always come back and then it won't make them as anxious and nervous when you do leave if they, if they learn that that's a common routine in the hospital. <laughs> okay, with the, with the Ontario going into uh, step three on Friday, are, are you changing any of the rules or, or, or how people can come in to adopt at Lincoln County? So we've actually resumed our volunteer program, which is great. All of our dogs, the volunteers are coming in multiple times a day to exercise the dogs and socialize them, which is awesome. And then hopefully with stage three, we'll be able to allow small members um, of the public to come in and actually view our animals. And we think that'll help increase our adoptions as well as people can actually see for themselves the animals and how great they really are. <laughs> Okay, and that's awesome too because the volunteers play such a huge role, right, in, in getting the animals um, kind of socialized. Absolutely, yes. The volunteer program is amazing. We have three shifts a day. Different volunteers come in and, you know, uh, use their time to let the animals run and socialize them and train them and exercise them. It definitely sets the animals up for success for sure. Okay, thanks, Cassandra. And we'll get information on how you can adopt Bane and give him a forever home. Thanks. <laughs> thanks so much. <laughs>